going on guys back to you with another video today i will be showing you how to clean your engine with no water and no hard scrubbing i know a lot of people that clean their engine with like power washers or no garden hose and some of them won't start and it's possible you could mess up a lot of electrical stuff but you know i know also know people that did and had no problem but for those of you that's skeptical about doing that with like a, a lot of water and afraid you might damage some I got a solution for you a nice easy way cheap easy way to do it I'm gonna be using this uh, tire foam by Amaral and some old some old towels or you could pick up a roll of paper towel or uh, shop towels like those that blue shop towels yeah like I use the Amaral because it's like okay on the back you know, I said uh, intense foam activates on contact, floating dirt away without scrubbing. Okay, that's what I usually um, do. When you spray it down real good, that foam usually run the dirt down, and after it dry, it leaves a shine behind. But mostly, what I do is I spray it down real good and wipe it down with the towels. And then once that dry, I spray it again. Or once you wipe it down. It might be it might look good enough to you because depending on how dirty your engine is some people engine filthy they might they might have to go ahead and, and degrease it or something but you know this for people that keep up their engines you know engines is not gunked up with 10 year old grease you know so i'm gonna get started spraying it down and like I said, this is a cheap, effective way. The can is only a little over four dollars, so if you want, you can spray the whole using the whole can. Or what I do, I end up using half a can on uh, one clean. And you can do this. Every, I do it usually once a year, and it usually keep your engines up and, and keep it from being gunked up with grease. Or you can do it for you to, for uh, people that you know overdo it and like to clean a lot. You could do it every six months, twice a year. But I usually do it once a year. And have no problem like as you can see right now the engine is like it's dusty right now because I just bought this vehicle I'm gonna sell it you know I bought it put an alarm and remote start on it as you can see in the other video this is the van that I put the alarm and remote start on it's not too bad up under here I mean it's a little like dusty but it's not bad so I'm gonna um, hit it with the tire foam to clean it right now and I'm um, yeah show you guys how to do it let me start Might not use the towels on here, depending on how I look after I finish uh, spraying it down. Yeah, if it's cool outside, guys, usually shake it up real good. And, uh, or sit it in some hot water. I just shake it up good, and you have no, uh, come out nice. Maybe. Don't be afraid to spray the whole thing. Like, I know some people be like, you might want to be cheap and keep it, but I mean, the can's only over $4. And you're only doing this maybe once a year, so. Okay, let me, uh. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn this off while I sit. And then I'm gonna turn it back on and show you how it turned out. Okay, guys, now I sprayed it, the whole thing down. It's dissolving now. Now, let me just show you how, how it loosened that dirt up. See this towel right here? It's clean. Let me go ahead and like you can wipe it, no scrubbing. You just like wipe it down. See how that dirt is? Now, look at this. Wiped all that down. See how filthy that towel is? And then look at it. See? Cleans that whole um, thing down. Just it loosens up the dirt. You ain't got to worry about water. So I'm going to go over the whole uh, engine, wipe it down. And then I'm going to spray it again with the tire shine. And then just let it sit and dry. And leave that little shine behind it. So let me turn this off. Let me wipe it down. And then... Uh, not a little scrubbing, just not that dirty, so I'm just gonna wipe like some parts that where the dirt look a little thick. 
but then I'm going to turn it back on and show you guys the results. All right, guys, this is the end result. It's been sitting for a couple hours. And like I told you, remember how the engine was looking before? Now you see the difference. Nice and clean and shiny. And guys, it's going to stay like this. It may attract a little dust. I mean, but it's nothing, it's nothing bad. But it's going to keep all that oil, dirt, and grime off your stuff. And like I said, you can do this once a year. Or for the people that like to go take it a step beyond, you can do it every six months. But I would do it once a year. And those are the air results. And you've seen that engine before. How dirt, how dusty it was. It wasn't super grimy and real nasty, but you can see the end results. And guys, I mean for um, what four four dollars and fifty cent, maybe how much? That's how much the Armorall cost. I mean, once a year, and then nine dollars if twice a year. I mean, I mean that's not going to break the bank to keep to keep uh, the engine looking good. Especially the mechanics appreciate it if they have to work under here or you might have to look under here You don't want to be getting all uh, Like dirty and oily, you know, and it's shiny right now But that's not gonna dry a little bit more, but it's still gonna be shiny and you don't have to worry about it It's not gonna affect your engine. It's not gonna catch fire from this stuff or nothing like that I, like I say I do it all the time been doing it for years So yeah, this is the end results um like comment subscribe hit the notification bell uh, for, for for future videos and i appreciate you watching this videos uh, i'm out take care of yourself later